am so done with school. Yesterday was my last day of class. Technically, today was supposed to be my last day of class, except today's like a Friday, except it's a Tuesday because the university. It's really it's not even a long story. Today's a Tuesday, but we're supposed to go to all our Friday classes as if it were a Friday. So technically, it's a Friday, but it's a Tuesday. Right. Today's word of the day is juries. Not like jury duty, because that's something that happens once in a while. I'm talking about music juries. The one that happens at the end of every semester. The one that will cause tears, stress, panic, anxiety. Tears and stress. Mostly stress. Sometimes panic. And basically, at the end... At the end of every semester, you take all the pieces that you've been working on and you play them in front of a panel of jurors and they will grade you. So it's like a final exam for your instrument. Only there's no backspace button, there's no escape button, there's no eraser, there's no multiple choice. You kind of know it or you don't. Um, but we're not going to dwell on that. We're going to talk about scary movie situations because I personally believe that people get themselves into scary movie situations because they do stupid things. And if you happen to find yourself in a scary movie situation, then please do smart things so you don't die. <laughs> I'm going to give you my top five rules to surviving a scary movie situation. I do not know why I'm talking like this. Uh, rule number one, do not go down unmarked roads in the middle of the night. Especially if it's a dirt road that somehow winds through the forest of despair and death. There will be a man in that forest waiting to eat your head off. Rule number two. Do not knock on the doors of creepy houses at 3 a.m. Anyone who answers the door at 3 a.m. will either be a murderer, a creepy person, or a college student. Potentially a combination of the three. If the creepy house you knock on happens to be an abandoned house and you decide you're going to stay the night because driving was obviously not a solution um then please turn on the lights it will help you see the murderer in the corner rule number three do not watch unmarked vhs tapes especially if it's a tape that will cause people to come crawling through your television screen mostly because no one really uses vhs tapes anymore Rule number four, do not hesitate to run. You have nothing to prove to the world, you have nothing to prove to your friends. Run, because in the end, you will be alive, and their show of bravado, they might not be alive anymore. So you will win. Please run. Um, run towards the direction of people, and if those people happen to be dying, run somewhere else. Rule number five, do not split up. You will die if you do. Rule number six, there's no rule number six. I don't remember rule number six. Never mind, there's no rule number six. Actually, I just remembered. Rule number six, do not hesitate to slap the screaming, crying, hysterical person because they are distracting you. While you are tending to their hysteria, the man will be here with a knife trying to stab you and then you will die. All thanks to the screaming, hysterical, crying person. That's it. By this time next week, I will be completely done with school. Summer starts next week. <laughs>